In this short and simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add filtering to your table. So if you have a table like this, you can actually filter by simply typing inside this text box. We can filter by the product name or even by description, as you can see latest, and it's filtering by this. And you can also say smartphone. So you can see it filters perfectly well. And of course, the filtering does not replace the pagination, as you can see right here. We will be using this one because in this case, we don't already have filtering here. So we are going to be adding filtering from the scratch. Once you have uh, this table fetching data from Spring Boot, if you want to learn how to do this, there is a link in the description box to how to build this table using Spring Boot and also React UI. So I'm going to show you how to do it in a few minutes. If you, if you are joining for the first time, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Click on that subscribe button below so that you don't miss any update from me. So let's go ahead to get started. We are going to start from the scratch. This is the application we are looking at, not this one, but this one. Okay. So we have the use effect hook is fetching data from an API endpoint from local host port 8080 slash products. Now there is no filtering. And the first thing we want to do to be able to enable filtering is to add the text box. Right, so we want to add, add a text box just immediately above the table to display the text field where you'll be able to enter text uh, criteria. So I'm going to start adding this text box right under the table container. Let's add it just below this button, this box containing the button. So I'm also going to add it inside a box. So it's going to be text field. Okay, so this text field will have a number of props, right? So the first prop is going to have is width. We want to set the width to, let's call it, let's make it 40%. We want to set label to such products. Label is like placeholder, such products. We want to set the variant, that is the type of the button, type of text box to be an outlined text box. In that case, we have a border around it. We have to set the value of this text box to be a prop called filter text. We are going to create this, pro we are going to create this variable, not a prop, but this variable in a minute. We want to have an unchanged handler what is going to happen when a user enters a text in that text box and that is handled by a change the unchange handler so we are going to add event handler for the unchange event let's call it handle filter change and next i'd like to display this box at the extreme right corner of the table of the screen. So I'm going to make the display of this to be flex. And the justify content is going to be so it's going to be flex end. Now if you want to look at this you can actually uh, on comment comment this one out and then we want to, you can actually look at this text box right here. Okay, so let's continue going. So the next thing we want to do now, we want to now create the state to hold the filter text. I'm going to call that state filter text. So I'm going to say const filter text. And of course, we also have the setup for it, set filter text. And it's going to be using the use state hook and we are initializing it to an empty string. Next, we want to create the handle filter change event handler. So I'm going to just create it somewhere around here. So it's going to be const handle filter change. And this is going to be receiving the events that trigger the change. And that is going to be the text field. And what do we do? We are going to set the, we are going to set the filter text using the value coming from the target of this event so the value of the text box is the text box is going to be coming from events dot target dot value 
And at that point, when a user is entering a text and we are filtering the table, we also want to reset the pagination to display the first page. So I'm going to say set page to page zero. Okay, so at this point, we will now want to perform the actual filtering to actually filter what this place. To filter what this place, we are going to take the existing product and then filter it by the value of different fields. So let's call the filtered products list to be filtered products. And now this filtered product is going to filter the products, which is what we already have. So we are simply going to filter it and now we are going to keep the product that match certain criteria. Okay, so, so what we want to do here now is to perform the filtering. So we are going to filter by title and by summary, maybe by name and by description, sorry. So I'm going to say product dot title dot name dot now we want to make sure that the entry into the text box is not case sensitive so first we are going to convert to lowercase so it's going to be when the entry includes when the product name includes what is entered in the text box so it's going to be in the filter text text field so filter text dot to lowercase we also convert it to lowercase as well so that we have a perfect match between the entry in the text field and the field value in the table. We want to add a second filter. This time we also want to filter by the description. So at this point, I'm going to simply copy this and paste it and change from name to description. So I change product name to description. So we are filtering by two fields at this point. We can also filter by one more field if there is another field you like to filter and that field, in that case, we are going to check what the field is and I think it might be brand, you can see right here. So it's going to, it's going to be product.brand. Okay, I think we've created the filtered product. So this is the filtered product that actually holds the products that has been filtered. Now we want to display this filtered products in the table. We are going to our table that is rendered on the screen on the on the page and then we are going to actually display the filtered products instead of displaying the unfiltered one. So if you look at the table you see that it has products right here and we are going to now replace it with filtered products and the same here. And if everything is fine, I think we should be done by now. So we are going to go ahead to test to see if everything works as expected. So I'm going to go ahead to save file, save all, and let's go back to the UI. So going back to the UI, it says unexpected use of events. So let's go to check. And that is coming from line 133. Line 133 right here. So the handle filter change is going to actually take the event as argument and I'm going to go ahead to save. And right now everything displays perfectly well. Remember that we also have pagination which also should be working perfectly okay by now. Let's try to see if filtering the table works. So I'm going to try to enter ultra, ultra soft below. You see it works. And let's try to enter steel. And of course, you can also filter by the brand. So let me try comfort. So you can see it also filters as well. So this is basically how to add filtering to your table in React using Material UI. I'd like to stop here. I'd like to be making nuggets like this for you from time to time. So please remember to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment if you have any challenge. If you have any specific tutorial or something you want to learn from React in React, please let me know and I'm going to make that tutorial or lesson for you. Coming soon, we have inventory management system built with Spring Boot backend and React front end. 
and hope you'll be there to take this lesson. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.